Hello, gods and goddesses, and everyone's, everyone's. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to say that. Um, so let me see where I'm going to start. Okay, so I'm going to start with smudging. We're going to use today cinnamon and clove, both bring in abundance. Um, cinnamon brings in abundance. Clove, clove brings in healing. Um, abundance in finances, but also abundance in spirituality. And, um, is that it? Yeah, okay, so in the, the diffuser, we have orange. We have that the orange is good for bringing in joy, optimism, um, uplifting the emo emotions, bringing in um, a sense of adventure, creativity, heightening the self-esteem, and it also helps us with handling the ups and downs of life with, with ease. The word that came was finesse, so, and Bruno Mars came, Bruno Mars and Cardi B, my girl, eh, <laughs> but that song came up, so that feels like the energy of the collective that I'm feeling right now, so um one message that i want to get out is that while myself i have been like wondering how to make the videos shorter how to make them where they aren't 30 minutes an hour 45 minutes and all of that and then i had someone else pose the question to me like you know do you have shorter videos can you do shorter videos and while i was trying i did attempt i'm not gonna lie I did attempt to, but it just wasn't working out that way. And the message that I was getting from that is, the, it's going to be how it is. It is what it is. If Spirit has some messages for the collective out there and they need those messages, no matter how long it is, it, it's just, that's just that on that. So I feel, I do feel that if the messages are for you, you're going to stick around for them because they have healing in them. I'm not just sitting here just rambling to you. I'm healing you. I'm trying to help you heal yourself. So if it's too long, then all that that means to me is that the message isn't for you yet. Maybe you still have some things to work on, some, some shit to get through, you know, just to, you know, it the message will get to who it's meant to get to to who it's meant for to who is best who will best use these messages so i send you all love and light i pray this message finds you well and i love you so let's get to it burn that cinnamon i got it in a new look at look at my little bowl it's so cute all right, all right. the clove is at the bottom because i broke the cinnamon on top of it let me get to it. Let me get at least one. One shrimp on the barbie. Okay, so we're going to cleanse this energy space. We're going to do some healing for the heart chakra. So make sure you adjust your volume. Make sure you be present. Make sure you just breathe in the moment. Be mindful of the healing that this bowl is doing for you. Because... Even if sometimes you listen to singing bowls, no matter if it's me or someone else, but if it feels like it's um, agitating or, or, it's, or it's ringing or something like that, if you get any type of feeling from the healing bowl, it's doing its job. So just embrace it and just relax into it. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm about to pause it for a second so I can get my breath together so that I can do some breathing work with you. So the next time <laughs> I'm going to pause it, but when you hear me again, I'm going to be breathing. So we're going to do in through the nose, out through the mouth. And um, the reason why I have to pause it is because I've been speaking. So when I'm speaking, my, my, my oxygen, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like my oxygen is, is just built for speaking instead of just being calm and being in the moment. So I've learned that if I just be quiet for a few seconds, regulate my breathing, then I can get more benefits out of it, out of the breathing exercises. So please hold.
I pray that that was healing for you. And that you took the time to be mindful, to be present, to pour into yourself, to heal. So I got some channel messages. Um, the first word that came up was recognize. So what are we recognizing? So this feels like an energy of gratitude, of being appreciative just of life in general, just the opportunity to just be here on this earth. And it says, recognize the beauty within, in life, in love, in work, in family, in connection. It just is like being thankful, being grateful for everything. For I just heard conjunction. So the, for the conjunction of, of, of everything coming together and creating this reality for you that you're in. So it says to take a few minutes to gaze upon. Those words were in quotations. So when they're in quotations, that's a direct message from spirit. It's like they're all messages from spirit, of course, but sometimes they want me to say specific phrases for you. So it says gaze upon something, something you view as beautiful, even the self like finding love within the self, finding the beauty within the self, accepting the self. I just uh, saw someone in the mirror smiling. So, you know, embracing who you are, embracing who you've become, what you've been through and looking at yourself and just giving gratitude for all that you've accomplished, all that you've surrendered to, you've conquered and just, you know, being grateful accepting yourself I just keep getting accept accepting yourself you're finally at a point where or you're getting to a point where you accept yourself fully and completely I completely and deeply love and accept myself is an affirmation that just came to me um, the knock on the door was confirmation so use that affirmation um, also, um, what does it say? Find the magic in the things you see from day to day. So, like, if you see, like, um, birds or butterflies or something like that, most people just, you know, overlook it. But this is an energy of appreciating those things in life that, they're, they're, those are beautiful things. Like, butterflies and birds and things, they can fly. They defy gravity. They can get out and just fly wherever they want to go so enjoying the beauty in that and also getting the message that you can fly too you probably can't fly <laughs> literally maybe you know on a plane so maybe you need to go on vacation go visit somebody or something but um you can fly as in rising above any situation in your life or you know just keeping your vibe high um, also, the things that you take for granted, practice gratitude, like um, being thankful for the breaths that you take, being thankful for the job that you have, being thankful for having bills that you get to pay. You get to pay those bills because you have things and you have things because you were blessed with abundance. It may feel like it's overwhelming sometimes, especially when the bills get like behind or they get high they start going up because of inflation you know things that we can't control but you still get to pay bills you're not homeless living out on the street you're not uh you know on, on your deathbed or anything like that you're alive and well being thankful for those things that that we take for granted <laughs> It says, be thankful for what you have and also pray for the sustainability. Sustain is a word that has been like, it's, it's like I, I'm seeing it right now in all caps and bold letters and underlined twice. So sustainability of, 
of the things that you have and the abundance that's to come forward to you. So this is being able to um, maintain the, the blessings that you have right now, but also everything that you're wishing and praying for, you know, having that energy of being able to keep it, you know, it's not overwhelming for you. It's not too much. It's not like you can't deal with it. You, you're, you're asking God and God is to help you to have the knowledge, the confidence, the um, the drive to keep the things that you're wishing for, as well as, you know, having them. Um, so the message after that that I got was, that prayer cancels out you wavering from the path. And then I saw the words, wish granted, and I saw... Zoltar, you know, if you've ever watched that Tom Hanks movie called Big back, what was it, in the 80s, I think? I don't know, but it's one of my favorite movies with Tom Hanks in it. And um, he made a wish on the Zoltar machine, and his wish was granted. So it's like, there's a, a wish fulfillment coming in for you, but I f I'm feeling an energy of preparedness, or, or needing to be prepared, or needing to also feel prepared feel worthy of the the blessings that you're wishing for like you're wishing for those things but do you feel like you you are worthy for them do you feel like that that if they come and it comes huge do you feel like you'll deserve it I feel like that's a journal prompt do you feel worthy of the blessings that you ask for of the blessings that are coming in to you <laughs> And also a message that came after that was, if you currently wish for something different than a previous wish, it's okay to release yourself from that contract. It's okay to be to change your mind. I mean, we all change and evolve, and some of us more than others. Some people change so drastically. Like, one day they're one way, and the next day you're like, is this the same person? Like, some people may think, that you you've changed so much it may seem overnight they may think that you're being fake that that may be something that you have to deal with as well but th that's not your problem that's a them problem again anything that people think of you and what you do that's that's on them that's a them problem not your problem what what is your business is the energy that you put out that's your business so a message came out in quotations and it says, it was like a song. It said, bottle popping, show stopping. Now, when I was like, okay, I, do I know this song? And I know it's a rap song, but I had to, to Google it. I had to figure it out. And then, let me show y'all. So, we got, you see how long the video is? The, the video is 3 minutes and 45 seconds. So, that's alignment. 3, 4, 5 is, is divine alignment. And then uh, we have... It has 5.1 million likes and then I mean views in six years so five plus one is six we have two sixes and um, sixes represent victory for movement success and then we have seven eight so it's like six seven eight am I pointing at the right thing I hope so but it's there's, there's like some divine alignment that and you can't see it unless you really pay attention because it's like three four five six seven eight three four five six seven eight there's some divine alignment i'm hearing something about a legacy or a long line a long there's something about a, a long line of alignment but there, listen just listen All the girls jack, jack, beat, steady, knack, knack, middle of the hey, state, yeah. got the whole club entertainment. So, so what I'm feeling from this song, like, I, I know, I'm, I know for a fact I listened to this song years ago, and it was catchy, but I, I didn't initially know where the song came from because, you know, I'm, I'm a rap person, but not really a rap person. Like, mm, I gotta be like in a specific mood for it. Um, unless it's Cardi B and Nicki Minaj and, you know, <laughs> the females, <laughs> even though I, okay, don't get it twisted. I love the, the male rappers too, but 
It's like the the female rappers speak more of from from of my experiences in life. Like I I don't know nothing about what he be talking about because he's a man and you know. But anyway, I digress. So the energy that I'm getting from this is being elevated to a position where people are going to be paying you attention people are going to be giving you attention and wanting your attention but also dealing with energies of jealousy energies of people thinking that you think that you're better than them it's like this energy of being balanced of balancing out um the things that are coming like like the orange fragrance in the diffuser was about balancing the ups and downs of life with finesse it's like no matter what comes your way you're, you're still focused you're still moving forward you're ever pressing forward so <clears throat> after that song after that message i got the word the specific words these are all in quotations so i'm just gonna go down the list courage value slash worth strength and i'm gonna stop there and then i'm gonna start again the reason why i feel like we got courage and strength courage is about doing it regardless of who got your back what people are gonna say what people are gonna think what people are gonna do how people are gonna support you you do you're doing it anyway and then after that value and worth because you see value in yourself and it, it's what you want it's your passion it's your drive so it doesn't it don't really matter what nobody else got to say about it you're doing it because that's what you want to do and then we have the strength it's about still doing it like like consistently continually that's that's the word it was it's consistent too but continually no matter what you know it's starting no matter what but it's continuing no matter what as well so we have um, subtitle so with subtitle I got the words book research and movie and I feel like this message is a specific message for someone who's thinking about writing or um, I'm getting this image of someone having dreams that there's these vivid dreams that you're having that you need to write down and when you write them down or even record them sometimes recording can be easier or faster so record them take note of it so that um, later on when you feel the the guidance from spirit you can create a book or a script for something but so there's something that you're going to write that is going to either turn into a book or turn into a script for a movie and it's going to it's, it's going to be big it's going to make you famous so <laughs> i just heard tyler perry famous so okay congratulations then after that I got the words growth and expand and then once I saw expand I saw expansion so that makes me feel like with growth and expand I feel like as you're growing as you're learning as you're connecting to the divine source and connecting with yourself and when I say connecting with yourself I mean connecting with the person that you want to be that you strive to be the person that you are now and also the person who you used to be your inner child like not shutting out any parts of yourself but accepting all of you wholeheartedly because if you don't accept you wholeheartedly you can't expect nobody else to so um and then expansion expansion came and what's coming to mind now is the energy of legacy expansion i'm seeing um a property being uh renovated being um expanded i'm seeing a, a a big yard like a country yard but like you're putting things in the yard it's not just a blank canvas of just grass i'm seeing things being placed on it maybe a guest house maybe an, an outhouse i said an outhouse <laughs> a shed or you know some some sort of secondary building on your property or maybe just some storage a lake a pool like adding on to your to the property that you already have 
or if you don't already have property it's like a vision of what's to come of property that you will have that you will pr pr procure is that the word that's procure <laughs> procure it's like it's that fancy word for receiving or or, or collecting but um why I can't say it? I know the word. Procure. Procure. <laughs> okay, so what I'm getting from that is maybe you don't believe it yet. Maybe there's some doubt that you got to work through. But it's okay. It'll be okay. You're going to get it anyway. The, all the doubt does for, for those who are on the healing journey, for those who are actually trying and working towards things, all doubt does is slow it down. It don't stop it. The only thing that doubt, the only time that doubt stops anything is if you stop okay so i got this image of a potato after i was getting the words growth and expansion you know that a potato you can buy a bag of rusted potatoes sit it somewhere forget about it and it'll start sprouting it's like it don't need no water it makes its own water basically it don't need no light it don't need no attention from you to, to start growing or expanding on its own so just think of what a potato could do if there was intentional care with it. If it can do that when you don't pay it no attention, just think of how much it can grow with care and attention. And that's like a metaphor for the self. Like all that you've accomplished just by even focusing on something different than what you really should be focusing on or something else you could be focusing on. You, the growth that you've made just imagine the growth that you could have if you just put your attention into something specific and just nurture it just imagine so the when the next message i got after that is say what you need to say whatever it is you need to say so okay so the energy that i'm get, getting from that is there's like some doubt, some negativity, or some things that you like second guess that you just need to speak on it. Just speak on it. Because when you speak on something, it's just like in the Bible, I think it says something about if you say the name of the demon, then that, that takes away its power. So it's like acknowledging something that you feel doubtful about, scared about, fearful about, something that you're second guessing. Acknowledging it and then working past it and healing it. That's what I got from say what you need to say. But I'm also getting an energy of there's someone that you need to voice your fears or your concerns or something. Some, something you need to voice to somebody. It don't even have to necessarily be on the negative plane. It could be positive. But there's something that you need to say. So you just, you just need to say it. <laughs> say it. Say what you said when you said it. Okay, so... The, the final message that I got, the final China, China, China. <laughs> who's going to China? I want to go, who's eating Chinese food? I want some. Okay, so the final channel message that I got was perfect alignment. You are perfectly balanced. So, uh, I, did I give this affirmation early? I don't know, but I'm giving it again if I didn't. I am in perfect alignment with my current self, my highest self my inner child, and my soul's purpose. And all is well and as it should be. Ashe, our man, so shall it be. So th that that is a mantra, actually, that you can speak for yourself. So uh, that's all for the channel messages that I have. I want to, um, I'm just going to pull a few this time. I don't know why I'm saying it. I guess <laughs> that's what... That's what we're going to do. So, since this is about abundance, what are we going to pull? Let's see. What abundance is coming forward to the collective that we don't see? Well, what abundant messages? Let me see how, what I need to say. Say what I need to say. What is the abundance coming forth for the collective? tickle in my throat 
And say what you need to say that little song that it was playing in my head again. So it's like an abundance of information or an abundance of some things that you need to say. Or it could even be an abundance of information that's just coming in to you. Okay. So what abundance is coming in for the co what was my question? What abundance is coming in for the collective? <laughs> Why did I completely... The, the question is, is gone. So, anyway. What do you need to release? Look at the bigger picture. A new start is coming. So, even though I am... I don't remember the question. I know that this is about abundance. Okay. So, when I see what do you need to release and I think about the word abundance, I think about that there is... Uh, something that you've been holding on to something that some I'm thinking that it's mental and I'm thinking that it's mental because of the color of the card and I feel like since it's a half a moon this is this is my intuition speaking I feel like since it's half of a moon it's like some things that are lingering in the background that you aren't paying attention to because you kind of swept it under the rug you kind of left it in the past you you let left you let sleeping dogs lie on some sort of situation you let something just slide and it's about you you got to let it go you can't just let things slide because they're still there there's but it's it's a lot though it, and it's a lot in a sense it's abundant in a sense of it's dealing with the emotions in the mental <clears throat> now, I also feel a sense of it slowing you down it's, it's adding um, it's so I was going to say it's adding momentum so maybe for some there's something that's adding momentum but for, for others there's something that's taking away the momentum that's slowing you down from getting to where you want to be and abundance when I see looking at the bigger picture when I see this, it makes like I'm smiling so big right now because I'm thinking about the color red, which significa significates signif signifies what? <laughs> which signifies stability, security, and I'm hearing legacy. So it's like looking at the bigger picture, the legacy, even the legacy that you have planned in your mind is bigger than the legacy that you're actually going to build for your family. They said stop there. Okay. And then we have a new start is coming. And a, a new abundant start is coming. Enough said. Okay. Enough said. <clears throat> so, what are we at? 30 minutes? Look. <laughs> 30 minutes is the number. Okay. Let's see what abundance you're manifesting. What abundance are you manifesting? The abundance that you're manifesting is achievement. Win the award, accolade, or contract. That word contract came up in my meditation. I don't even know if I said it, but it was about the, the message was that contract came up in initially was you had a wish and then you changed something and you changed and now you got a different wish. That that was it was like releasing yourself from that contract. So this came up well this triggered that memory of that contract so anyway an abundance of achievement there's see big bottle popping steady rocking I don't know but <laughs> it's something let, let me know in the comments I want to know congratulations again okay so an abundance it says fire fire the element of fire heralds new life renewed passion and positive transformation the uh, transformation is like there, there's something within you that has changed or is changing and it's like okay so when i think of abundance and i think of this fire 
and I think of that fire means going forward, drive, passions, and things like that. I'm, I'm feeling like there are going to be an influx of ideas that come into you or an influx of you putting those ideas out. And then the last card we have is Felice, Felix Felicitas. <laughs> I don't even know if I said it right. That's why I'm laughing. But it says, power symbol to create lucky serendipitous events. So, come on now. Abundance. Abundance. You are manifesting abundance. That's just the bottom line. That is just the bottom line. So, let's get some affirmations. Before we close out. Ooh. So, those two. I am beautiful inside and out. Look, look how you see how beauty came out. That was the very first one of the very first messages. Recognize the beauty. I am beautiful inside and out. <clears throat> I am love. This is the second one. Let's see. you need to say just keep playing in my head say it just say it just say it just do it i am unapologetically me i attract good dick with good relationships <laughs> i attract good yanni with good relationships every time i get that car it throw me off for a second i'm like oh shit <laughs> But it's a very positive card. It's about this. This this affirmation is about uh, calling in a relationship that withstands the test of time. With that, it's like the sex ain't just the only thing that's good. It's also the relationship that's good. The the communication, the romance, if that's what you like, whatever you look for in a relationship that makes you feel like okay this is a good healthy relationship that's what this affirmation is calling in for you so i attract good dick with good relationships i attract good yanni with good relationships i attract good sex with the good relationships <clears throat> and also i'm getting an energy of um it can be because sex always for me is also equal to creativity so this feels like i'm i'm like i'm not only attracting good relationships but i'm attracting good business relationships where like creative relationships where we pour ideas into each other and come up with like this banging opportunity i am a good father and nurturer i am a good mother and nurturer or i if you're, if you're not a parent i am a good nurturer and we have I finish whatever I start with guidance from the source so like that that's giving an energy of there's something that you've been working on that you put on the back burner you put and in, in, on the back um, it's giving that energy of that that half moon that we saw earlier in the reading It's giving that energy of, of something you swept under the rug or you put to the back it's time to bring it back you know Pray over it, go over it, renew it, refresh it, bring it back. I give love, unconditional love surrounds me. One more. <laughs> Every time, one more, I get a bunch. I make myself happy. I am my own emotional fulfillment. And we have, I welcome the courage from spirit to compassionately speak the truth to those who will receive it. Okay, there we go. With that courage, okay, you got this. Say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. <laughs> so I pray that this message was helpful to you in some way, healing to you in some way, entertaining, whatever you need. I, I hope you got it out of this, um, this video. 
And I just want to thank you for being present. I thank you for showing up for me, for yourself, for the divine. And um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you on the next one. I send you love and light. Namaste. I will be one of the greatest. That is a vow. Yeah, that is a promise. Always wanted to be famous. Just being real. Yeah, just.